When sea ice gets further and further north, you have sea ice over deeper and deeper water. And the most productive areas are where the water is shallow. That's where you have high production of uh, other sort of life, including seals that the polar bears are eating. So um, they're still doing okay, but uh, if this continues, uh, there might be both that it's more difficult to find something to eat where they are, and it might be a struggle to get to, to Svalbard. Uh, or, or the Russians island where they go. And one very important thing for the bears is that when they give birth to cubs, they need to be on land. Uh, so they have to go to the islands every time they give birth. When polar bears have to swim more than they used to, they also use more energy. So um, even though they are doing still fine, uh, if this continues, maybe suddenly one day they use too much energy compared to how much energy they get from what they eat. So for example, if you have to swim 200 kilometers, it costs a lot more than if you walk those 200 kilometers. It's harder to be able to produce milk for those cubs. I mean, those bears, the mothers, they are staying in a den without anything to eat for maybe four or five months, and then they need to be in very good condition when they start.